12 by 15 backyard between two two-story buildings. Thoughts on a DX Commander vertical? Um, Whoa, I think you... I mean, so, you <laughs> I mean like you're sandwiched in there. Yeah, here's the problem. I mean, you the 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 DX commander would you can you can get it you can get it upright, but in order for that antenna to really and and I think it would work between two two story buildings, but to really to get that antenna to perform, it needs a radial network, and um, the more radials tend to be better. I think if your lot, if your backyard is twelve by fifteen feet, I think what the problem is going to be is that you um, ideally you're going to want radials that are sixteen, twenty two, thirty three feet long. You know, something like that. And with a twelve by fifteen backyard, you're probably going to end up with like eight foot radials. I don't know if you can get sixteen foot radials spread out if you've got enough space for that. That's yeah, that's a real tight. Yeah. And then your takeoff angle is going to be terrible between the two buildings. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know if it would work. I mean, you can try it, but with what the DX commander costs, I don't know if you want to take that risk. Yeah. I would, try, I, I would try stringing a wire between the two buildings before I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think you're probably going to need, you know, if you, if you were going to, if you were going to try to put in eight foot radials, you would probably need 20, 30 of them. You need 30, no, 36 I think, radials. I think Scott's, Scott's got the right idea. 12 by 15 sheet of copper would probably be there, or your copper mesh. Oops. They do, they do make copper yeah. mesh. Yeah. Um, they use that more in uh, commercial antennas for AM. Uh, AM broadcast antennas, but mm -hmm. they do make a copper mesh. It's not going to be cheap, I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they do make it. Otherwise, I yeah. don't know what else yeah. to tell you. You can make longer radials, and you kind of make 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 them in a pinwheel fashion. Maybe they don't have to be straight. Um, but yeah, the twelve by fifteen yard is going to be a, a challenge in itself. It's going to be tough. It's yeah. Yeah, you know that it's not meant to be a permanent antenna, but it's great for portable. You know, it's yeah. I mean, it's it's probably not you know for long term durability. It's it's because a lot of the parts are plastic. Um, probably not good for permanent uh, fitting. But um, yeah, but but really to make it yeah to to really you know be an effective antenna, it needs a good radial network. So yeah. I don't know. And if with a vertical antenna, that's almost the case with most of them. Um, unless you get onto something like that diamond, um, you know, was it a seven BBV or something like that or BB seven or yeah. that. But there again too, it's, it's without a, without a network, it's, uh, it's kind of mediocre. Um, right. right. Yeah. Richard says a hundred foot tower and a tri-bander while well, great. <laughs> you put up a hundred foot tower. You tell me how you're going to tie it in a twelve by fifteen backyard, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> High gain AV six eighty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've not seen that yeah. one, but I got yeah. That might any, yeah. Any that... I was going to require some sort of ground network. Hi, yeah, there are a couple of high gain models that don't that that are advertised as not require not requiring a counterpoise, but um, so. You have to try it. You know, maybe maybe before you invest the big money in a um, DX Commander, is to try um, prototyping something with just um, you know, if you can suspend say a vertical wire um, up. Well, if you wanted a twenty meter um, quarter wave, you know, if you can get seventeen feet of wire in the air, and then try a few ra you know a radials, see how it performs. Um, you could, you know, you could go to a um, outdoor store and you can get a um, one of those of those crappie rods, uh, fishing rods. You can mm -hmm. get that up seventeen feet. Um, yeah, we've enough, done that. You know, yeah, we've done that enough. You know, twenty, and then um, so you can have a quarter wave of wire for the seventeen meter band, and then just fashion some kind of a ground network. You know, a series of eight or twelve foot radials. See how that works um, in your backyard. If it's there, if it doesn't work, all you're out is 40, 50 bucks. Right. And if you can do, get that, then you could add a loading coil to it and work 40 meters. Yeah. Yeah. 
So no. yeah, that might be. A, and then, um, and then you know, if you think that you know, if, if that's a if that's a good you know if if that looks promising, then maybe the the DX commander would might might fit. So exactly, yeah, I, I yeah. would go that route. Try try making something first at home. Yep. And, and oh yeah, go it's got it. a jack eye puller. So yeah, try model band vertical with radials. Mm -hmm. See how that works in your backyard before you invest in the DX Commander. It's, the DX Commander is a nice antenna, but I just don't want you to try to shoehorn it into too small of a space. Right. So. Then you're stuck with that antenna that you paid too much for, and you say, it sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. So, all right. Most antennas are pretty good at just the installation. Mm-hmm. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.